Hello, James here, future multilingual. Today we are premiering, that's right, premiering a new type of video. We're going to be looking at advice people give on the internet and we're going to be reviewing it and we're going to be giving it a score out of 10. Now, today's advice related to English, but it could relate to any language because it's always the same advice from these types of people. And what it said is, if you want to know all of the hundreds or thousands, or I don't know how many, phrasal verbs in English and all the different ways they're used and how they're sort of used structurally differently, you should memorise them and write out sentences. And apparently that's the most efficient way to learn the phrasal verbs. Who would have funk it? There's a few things wrong with this advice, isn't there? Almost everyone's tried it and it didn't work. Now, they might be offering some new technique, but I didn't really see that. The reason it doesn't work is because memorising, in general, is a terrible language learning strategy. The reason this is, is there aren't, as the makers of this video seem to think, just two or just one type of memory. There isn't just one type of memory. I'm getting all confused, aren't I? Yeah, there, there isn't just one type of memory. We have explicit memory and implicit memory. Explicit memory has the following qualities. You deliberately memorize things. You know what it is you're memorizing, yeah? And you store them in a, part, a certain part of the brain and you often forget them. Implicit memory has these qualities. You learn something incidentally to comprehending language when you're reading or listening. You store them in a completely different part of the brain to explicit memory. And you're much less likely to forget them. So, any other problems with this? Well, yeah, that word forget. If you're memorising things, you're making an enemy of something that is inevitable when you memorise things. That is, forgetting. So James, what's uh, your score for this strategy out of 10? Well, I give it zero. This has been Future Multilingual. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon.